Embossing for surface strips has been added to Modo 14.0v1, allowing you to add fine surface details quickly and easily. Here, I already have my fusion item, which is composed of only the primary item in the scene. I can enable embossing in the properties of the fusion item. Now, let's select the mesh that I'm going to use for embossing, which in this case is two B-spline curves that extend outside the boundaries of my bottle model. I'm going to add my primary mesh to my item layer selection in the item list, and then apply a surface strip, specifically a two-sided subtract surface strip. Now I'm going to select only that subtractive item layer, and in the properties panel I'm going to find the surface strip absolute width value and set it to 3mm. Further down the panel is the new Mesh Fusion Embossing subheading, and here I'm going to enable the Enable Embossing setting. And you can see on my model how this has modified the look of the surface strips. If I set the outward offset to 1mm, Everything outside of the surface strips, as defined by the two B-spline curves, is pushed outward by that amount. Inward offset will push everything inside the surface strips inward by my set amount, in this example by 1mm. And using the middle offset setting, I can push in the middle section of the surface strips so it's flush. And you can see now how it's produced a very nice embossed form on my primary mesh. We can modify the nature of this bevel by applying an embossing preset which will modify all the values beneath it. We're going to use the two-sided soft preset, which significantly softens up that bevel, but it's not quite the right kind of soft result that I want. Not a problem, I can scroll back up to the absolute width setting and increase my value to 5mm, and then scroll back down and tighten the softness just a little bit by lowering the outward width value to 30%. And now I have the exact bevel result I wanted for this first example. You can also use meshes to produce the surface strips for mesh fusion embossing. You simply need to apply a surface strip with a mesh item layer selected. If I zoom into the details of my mesh here, you'll notice that mesh fusion has neatly returned that area of the surface to the original height of the surface. This can be accommodated by going into the Fusion Item Properties and setting your mesh mode from draft to a higher quality, like airtight draft. Now I'm going to reselect my mesh item layer responsible for the surface strips and enable embossing in the Properties panel. And then I'm going to change my outward offset setting to push it back to exactly the same height as my previous emboss setting, resulting in the bevel I want. And now, once again, I'm free to apply an embossing preset, such as two-sided soft. And then edit the actual bevel size using the surface strip absolute width setting. This has given me a nice grip piece effect on my bottle model. Bezier curves can also be used for embossing. In the example you see now, my bezier has nice sharp corners, but this isn't being accurately represented on my fusion item. But there's a simple fix. All I need to do here is come down into the properties of the mesh item containing my bezier curve, and under the Mesh Fusion Embossing subheading, enable the Sharp Bezier Corner setting, which produces topology that better facilitates sharp corners. The other previous examples in this video have used an extrude direction of extrude perpendicular to the curve. Here, I have this curve which was created using a combination of the contour tool and background constraints constraining a closed curve to the entire three-dimensional form. In this example, since the curve is sitting right on top of the mesh surface, I'm going to use an extrude direction of extrude along surface normal. This improves the integrity of the strip that's produced on the surface. 